Travail, ma paix, travail. C'est chaque jour, ma chasse la vie, moi. Qui t'a eu parlé, travail, ma paix, travail. Travail, ma paix, travail. C'est chaque jour, ma chasse la vie, moi. Qui t'a eu parlé, travail, ma paix, travail. Moi, pas qu'on aime, si ma va arriver. I sold things in the marketplace. I used to sell sandals. Business was not very good, so I started to sell secondhand clothes. For many people in Haiti, self-employment is the only option. More than 80% of the people do not have a job of any kind. And when there aren't jobs, you have two choices. You work for yourself or you starve. But to start and run a business, you need money. And if you don't have it, you need to borrow it. But in rural Haiti, there are no banks. There are only street lenders who charge loan shark rates. I spent a lot of time just trying to borrow money at 10 or 20 percent a month. When we borrowed on the street, the interest was more than the principal. It is a trap that keeps people poor the world over. Odette Eloi, a single mother with three children, was one of them. I lived in a shabby old house. I couldn't buy the things I needed. I couldn't even feed the children. But Odette found a solution. I heard that Fankozé lends money to small vendors so they can work hard and save. So I joined a group along with a friend. $75 was the first loan. Fon Cosé, the Shoulder to Shoulder Foundation, serves Haiti's poor. It was founded in 1994 by Father Joseph Philippe, a spirit and priest. Its primary tool is microfinance, small loans and other financial services to support self-employment. Its mission is no less than to build the economic foundation for democracy. There are a lot of rights which go with democracy, such as right to be educated, to have access to clean water, access to health care, and most of all is economic right. The ones who have money rule the power. He was concerned about the fact that Haitians had learned how to organize themselves politically, but they did not know how to organize themselves economically. Political democracy would not survive without economic democracy. For people in Haiti, Lack of money means lack of food, education, health care, clean water, and justice. The average lifespan in Haiti is 47 years. 50% of Haiti's people are malnourished. The infant mortality rate is 1 in 13. I'll do anything just to make a little more money. That is why I'm working so hard, so that, God willing, my children won't go through what I went through. Fon Cosé invests in those who are the most excluded, the rural poor, especially women. We have this saying in Haiti, when the woman divides the food, everybody eats. Especially in resource-poor countries like Haiti, the woman is the backbone of the family. Fon Cosé has, has tapped into this, what is arguably the most powerful force in the world, which is a mother's love of her children. Much of Haiti's economy depends on women like Odette. Small traders who move goods from cities to rural areas and from town to town. They are very hardworking women. They have some women who do at least four markets a week. So imagine that, you know, walking four hours with your goods either on your head or on, on the back of a donkey. That's, that's not a small thing. 